Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a kind of an initial review on a new gun safe that I purchased. Now, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know that I have quite a number of guns. I've done several reviews on them. Um, and what I've done so far to keep them secure is I've had them all in individual locked hard cases. Unfortunately, the problem with that is it means that just trying to store them, they fall over, they get knocked over. Um, a lot of them are in exactly the same looking case, so it's kind of hard to know which gun is where. And I don't feel like they're all that secure. Now, they are have been kept in my home office, which has a locked door, like a key locked door. But I have four of my own kids and possibly a fifth kid coming to live in my home for a little while. And I wanted a more secure way to store my firearms. I did a ton of research and it seemed like the typical uh, fireproof safe that you get for guns just don't really seem to cut it when it comes to being fireproof. Sure, they may not allow fire to enter into the safe, uh, but it, they don't stop the heat from entering and that can actually cause the metal uh, of the firearm to change, either become harder or softer, whatever, depending on the heat and et cetera, et cetera. And so I wasn't too worried about my firearms in heat because they're going to get damaged anyways. Uh, I was more focused on security. The other thing I was focused on is space. So because they have such thick walls, uh, it really cuts down on available room inside of the safe. And so that's why I went with the Secure It. Unfortunately, it's not the cheap option. They're very expensive. I spent a thousand, over a thousand dollars on this safe. I don't say that to brag, but just to set an expectation. And they've gone up in price because of reasons. And so, you know, it, it definitely is a, a large investment, but I think uh, with the number of firearms I have, with my kids, additional kid coming in the home, uh, it's definitely worth the security for me to have something like this uh, in my home. I haven't changed the code on the keypad yet, but let's take a look on the inside and see, oh, hope so I type in the password right. All right, and that is powered with just a nine volt battery. Now, this is the Secure it Agile 52 Pro. Uh, 52 meaning it is 52 inches high. Agile meaning it's part of their series that can be very modular. You can see these holes here. You can attach multiple units with each other. You can get wheels. You can get all sorts of crazy accessories for these. The Pro meant that this came with a ton of accessories. Like this was part of the Pro series. Um, this shelf all these things down here. I did buy one accessory with it that I'm not super happy with, and that's this uh, pegboard. It was $90, and I don't think I'm gonna keep it uh, because a lot of my guns are 22s, and this is meant for nine millimeter or larger bore size, and obviously the 22 does not fit. So it doesn't really work for me. Um, the other thing that's a problem with it is for like my Smith & Wesson revolver with a six or six and a half inch barrel. It fits on the pegboard just fine, see? If I go to close the door, it won't close. So that's a problem as well. Uh, so I'll probably be returning that uh, after I get some other options in here to store uh, some of my firearms. But the other thing with this is it's modular. So I can move these rifles and shotgun from this side over to this side. I can add these bins, I can move them around. A lot of gun safes are very static in what they have in them as far as how things can be stored. Uh, they're very focused on long guns versus handguns. Uh, I only have these four long guns, if you can consider the cricket a long gun. Um, but, and I don't plan on buying any more. Uh, that's not my preference. My preference is handguns, and I do plan on buying more handguns, so possibly in the future. So I wanted more, more options for, as far as storing the handguns. So yeah. Uh, now this does come unassembled. You do have to assemble it. It's very simple. It's literally just a couple of or a handful of bolts that you screw together and or nuts that you screw onto um, some bolts and very simple very easy uh, the one thing i will say in assembling it is when you go to put the door on or after you put the door on 
Um, you have to open the door to do a couple of the bolts on the inside. And the door is very heavy. And the case, even though it's made of very solid steel, isn't as heavy <laughs> as the door itself. And so it becomes very tippy. And so I did have my wife come in and just keep a hand on it while I was finishing it up, just so it didn't tip over on me. Um, I recommend doing something like that. Uh, you know, it was just something that uh, I thought I'd mention. Uh, when it came shipped, it was very solidly packaged. Uh, there was slats of wood in there to hold it into place, big thick foam, very stiff cardboard. It was double boxed. So no worries on this getting damaged in shipping between the very thick steel and the very secure packaging material. Uh, they did a good job in getting ready for it to ship. Um, but yeah, this is the other great thing about it being so light is when I do need to go ahead and move this because this room may not always stay in my office is I can move this. In fact, I was able to adjust where it is in here uh, pretty easily. Now I'll probably add some anchors in here. I want to get it load up and just make sure it's where I want, how I want before I start, you know, anchoring it to the wall. You know, I can anchor it, but then if I do need to move it, remove the anchors and it can go on a dolly and I can move it. I know some of those other uh, safes take two or three people to be able to move them. And this fits perfectly and easily in my closet. Now, as far as how I have things stored in here, uh, if you have one of these and you have some accessories you really like or have some suggestions on how I can better store my handguns, please let me know. I would love to see what other options you may have, but uh, this is how I have it set up. Like I said, I just got this up and going a couple hours ago. And so um, and this is just my first chance to really kind of even look at uh, how things are laid out in here. So yeah, again, if you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, feel free to leave those down in the comment section down below. Sorry, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. Uh, it... I've been going through a lot of things, both personally and professionally. Nothing terrible, nothing bad. Just, you know, I've been working some long 10, 12 hour days, some nights. Um, and then, like I said, might be having a new family member joining us here soon. So, you know, it's just been a lot of fun going on for me right now. It's cost me a lot of money. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I appreciate your patience with me on this, guys. Tell me what you think. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have an amazing day.